Hello and welcome to a new video on our taxation series. Today I am going to share a practical experience that I have that I came across very recently with one of my clients and I will, I will not be sharing the name of the client because it is against my professional ethics and I will not be able to do it. For the example's sake, we will call my client as Mr. Raju. Mr. Raju comes to me and gives me a notice and to my surprise, it is not an income tax notice but a GST notice. So I ask him, what is his business? He says, I am a carpenter earning rupees 30,000 month per month which comes to 3,60,000 per annum. But in his income tax return for the year 2018-19 to which the GST notice pertains, he has shown his net income to be rupees 8 lakhs and the turnover from which he has got is around 50 lakh rupees. So the net income is 8 lakh rupees. The turnover in under income tax act he has shown is rupees 50 lakhs. So here there is absolutely no problem when it comes to income tax because even if his income is rupees 3 lakh 60 thousand he has shown a higher income and he has paid the required amount of tax. So the income tax is very clear because there is no loss to the government. But the problem here is with the GST department. So the problem here is as per the GST Act, if your turnover in a financial year exceeds rupees 20 lakhs, then in that case you need to get registered under GST and discharge your GST liabilities based on various rates. So in this case, he has to discharge the GST liability at the rate of 18%. So I asked him, why did you do this? He says, I needed a housing loan of rupees 40 lakhs. So that is why I had to hike up my income. And the banker suggested to go to a tax practitioner and then file my required income tax return so that I can avail the housing loan. So to my surprise, when I looked at the notice, the tax liability is around 15 lakh rupees. So how, the, how is the computation? So the notice pertains to the year 2018-19. On 50 lakh rupees, the tax rate is 18% that he needs to collect that comes to around 9 lakh rupees. And there is an interest portion as well, 18% per annum on the tax amount that is 9 lakh rupees. So almost it comes to 4.5 lakh rupees that is for the three, that is for 3 years till date. So here the liability itself in the notice is around 15 lakh rupees for an ordinary carpenter who did not know any of the provisions of the GST Act at all and just was misguided by somebody. But here the ignorance of law is no excuse. You need to know the laws of the land, the GST provisions and the income tax provisions and you cannot claim as helpless that you did not know. So now what can Mr. Raju do in such kind of a situation? He has got only an income of rupees 30,000 per month. Also on top of that he has got to pay the EMI on the housing loan that is availed for rupees 40 lakhs. The main problem here is that you have declared in your income tax return that you have an income of around 8 lakh rupees and on top of that you have declared a turnover which is about 20 lakhs to the tune of rupees 50 lakhs. It is you who have declared in your income tax returns. So in spite of not knowing it is not excuse at all and more on more on top of that you do not have any input to claim because you do not have any bills for the purchases that you have made so that you cannot reduce from your tax liability as well showing that you have any purchases. So friends be very careful because you can be in such kind of a situation because in spite of not knowing you can be misguided by somebody just to avail a housing loan at that point in time because the GST notices that you will get will be later point in time after three years so your tax liability will almost get doubled because of the interest and penalty. Also a point to be noted here is that there is a data sharing agreement that is happening between the income tax department and the GST department. Any turnover that you declare in addition to 20 lakh rupees then there is a problem that you might get caught from the GST department. Earlier it wasn't the case earlier I am saying 5 to 10 years back but now with the GST regime kicking in the problem here is very serious for, for people like Mr. Raju. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. So in case if you have liked this video, please subscribe my channel, press the bell icon and many more interesting videos on income tax, finance and various other interesting topics are lined up. Thank you very much for watching.